I'm Reed Thorne from Ropes at Rescue, and uh, we're up here in uh, Jerome, Arizona, and uh, being hosted by the Jerome Fire Department. And this is our very, very first uh, anchoring analysis, uh, advanced anchoring analysis workshop uh, that we've ever held. And, and this, this uh, is basically a seminar, uh, lots of classroom time, lots of uh, uh, mathematics, uh, physics, lots of well, not a lot, but some trigonometry and understanding angles and, and, and forces on our anchors because they're so important. We felt that uh, we needed to offer something that would be uh, beneficial to all the uh, instructors out there, all the people that are responsible for rope systems. Not so much the uh, plate spinner, but uh, more in line with uh, people that are responsible for others and making sure that the system is safe. One of the things that we've been working on this week and discussing with uh, subject matter experts from all over the country and the RTR staff is how to improve our uh, method of delivery uh, when it comes to teaching anchor systems. Uh, one of the, th the focuses of this week uh, was concentrating on how we build anchors uh, in both the safety aspect and the efficiency, uh, sometimes doing more with less or uh, taking the systems that we've uh, been doing for a number of years and, and evaluating them with a critical eye. There was a number of things this week that, that were great from a, not only just a rope rescue standpoint, but a technical rescue standpoint, uh, mainly calculating forces, anticipated forces, um, doing some of the advanced calculations using physics, trigonometry, some uh, calculus to, uh, you know, in the field a lot of times we do generalizations based on past experience and uh, things we've been taught, but this was a great way to either reinforce what you already knew or expand your knowledge to uh, anticipating forces and, and load movement, whether it be a patient transfer, rope rescue system, advanced stabilization struts, or uh, lifting and moving heavy objects, uh, be it concrete, irregular shapes. I do think that digging into the, um, the background of the anchor systems is important for us as rescuers as I, I like to question the, the anchors that we've always historically built and look at are there better ways to do that, are they adequate for what we're doing, and to actually test those with, with actual physic, physical principles instead of just building them how we've always been told and start questioning does how, and how we've always done things work well and continue to work well. I think one of the really big takeaways from the class, the thing that I, I really got an appreciation for was how difficult, how challenging, and, and in fact how complicated some of the anchoring challenges are for wilderness rescue teams. My background is from an industrial and in a, in a very urban setting where all of our edges are square and perpendicular and bomb-proof anchors are all over the place. And out here, when you start working in these scenarios where you've got real small anchors, where you have to develop some very elaborate systems, uh, I got a real appreciation for the work, and, and not only the work, but the, the science, if you will, behind constructing those anchor systems. Just because um, you think this is a really good uh, anchor, if you've built it off of marginal components, the angle that that is created at affects greatly how much force those those anchor points are seeing. So, uh, getting into the physics of it was really uh, really good for me, just because I uh, I really enjoy the math of, of seeing what's going on and the trigonometry behind how those angles are created. So I guess I'm a little biased because you know, I have an engineering background, but you know I think it's really good. And I've, from my experience, um, a lot of firefighters and rescuers learn visually. So I thought it was really great that in this class. And we did a lot of visual things. We did force vectors and actually saw resultants. And I think for a lot of people, myself included, um, a lot of that starts to click with people when they can see something on paper and really apply that to the work they're doing in the field. If I, if I had to pick one thing that I liked the most about this anchoring class, I would just say that the networking of people that are here. It's names that you've always heard but never got to meet. This class, it's, it's great for a first run. I think we can do better. And certainly we'll be doing it again.